Good day everyone. I am Yunesh from University of Bangsan, Malaysia. I am here today to present a topic related to environmental and ecological protection. This topic titled Solubility of Keratin from Chicken Feather Waste in Deep Eutetic Solvent. The main idea of this topic is to convert a waste into wealth. Chicken is one of the most popular sources of protein in human food. Malaysia is one of the top chicken consuming countries in the world. According to the National Agriculture Statistics Service 2015, it is estimated that consumption of chicken worldwide is roughly around 1500 metric tons. As we can see from the graphs, the production of chicken is gradually increasing from 2012. This means, as the meat production increases, the dump waste chicken feathers also increases. The main issue rises when the disposal of chicken feathers are poorly managed and treated. Due to this poor management, dump waste chicken feathers lead to land degradation, water pollution and land pollution. Besides that, the people who live or work by these areas are facing huge trouble due to the high presence of mice and fly and also bad odor in the air. However, the waste chicken feathers can be treated well and it will generate a massive wealth not just economically but environmentally too. The table shows the composition of amino acids in keratin. The importance of keratin is highly regarded by professionals all over the globe. Some of the applications are in the production of biofertilizer as an active ingredient in cosmetic products, for production of sponge and scaffolds, and as biosorbin for the removal of heavy metals from wastewater. Now, to maximize the use of keratin, keratin should be solubilized first because keratin is highly insoluble in nature. To solubilize it, methods like alkali extraction, reduction, oxidation, and ionic liquids are used. However, I strongly endorse on the deep eutetic solvent method to solubil solubilize keratin. I emphasize on this so much because there are numerous advantages of DES compared to other methods. Some of it are shown in here. Into the objectives of this project, firstly, to study the feasibility of dissolving keratin in waste chicken feather using DES. Second is to predict the rank and the solubility of keratin by deep eutetic solvent DES and volatile organic solvent VOC using Cosmo RS. The methodology of this project is first screening the solvents using Cosmo RS. Second is washing, rinsing and drying waste chicken feathers. Next is the preparation of DES. Then comes the filtration of unbroken chicken feathers and the residues left are uh, left for drying and weighing. Lastly, the steps are repeated by preparation of different DES. Now into the results and discussion. The graph shown here is the relative molar solubility of 15 amino acid under several DES. From the graph generated from the data from Cosmo RS, 16 is the most soluble amino acid in all 5 DES. Colin chloride and urea under 1 is to 2 mole ratio show the highest dissolution capacity for cysteine and nearly all other types of amino acids. In this slide, the graph shows the relative molar solubility of both cysteine and serine and it is under DES and VOC. From a glance, we will see that the dimethyl sulfoxide has the highest dissolution. However, dimethyl sulfoxide is highly toxic for both human and nature and it is against the green technology. So, choline chloride urea 1 is to 2 mole ratio is the next candidate after DMSO4. It is for voice selection due to its eco-friendly green and cheap solvent. The expected outcomes. First, this project gives a new perspective of chicken feathers which is from waste to a wealth. Second, these provides additional source of raw materials for keratin based products. Third, DES as cheap 
easy to synthesize and green solvents for chicken feather waste valorization. As for conclusion, DES is promisingly an eco-friendly solvent to dissolve keratin. Further study is needed for feasibility of keratin extraction. Second, choline chloride urea is the second best solvent after DMSO4. This could be a safe alternative method due to its eco-friendly green and cheap solvent. Thank you.